Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change the boiler. Um, I'm going to do this first time myself, but I want to learn, maybe I hope you're going to learn from my mistakes. And the heater, which is used to be a very old one, the copper one, uh, immersion heater, we're going to replace to a new European style boiler. What we're going to do now, we're going to turn off the electricity uh, make sure we disconnect from electricity the water heater so we can start removing slowly disconnecting the pipes and so one important thing before you disconnect from electricity I forgot to tell you you need to drain the water so close the mains water supply and drain the water from the tank so to drain the boiler this is the tub where you open up so I didn't have any holes any pipes so I have to improvise just found the tunnel in my garage so just drain the water from the boiler make sure it's empty and we're gonna replace a big guy okay so I've cut overflow pipe so give me access. I removed uh, the hot water pipe. So now what is left to disconnect the cold water, the mains from the boiler, I mean the heater. As a problem is over there. So as you see, it's not that simple. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna improvise again. I'm gonna use the 15 mil pipe cutter and cut it that pipe and then disconnect so I can take it out okay guys here we are took it out do you want to see what is inside looks like nasty nasty shit look at that got lots of space now well what I'm going to do now I'm gonna remove that shelf where the boiler was sitting because I don't need it I need more space process also gonna insulate the pipes so there's no condensation so. and I'm gonna need to think where I'm going to put the boiler I think the best place is probably this wall there's no chance in here no chance in here okay let's see the well, next thing is drill the holes put the fixings into the wall so you can hang the boiler so I've done it I'm not gonna show how to drill and put the fixings because it's easy so I'll just show how it looks where I did it put so it looks for the space so I'm gonna try to hang the boiler now here we go hang the boiler it up myself so tighten the bolts so it sits properly still have access we need it to the pipes so how much space we have now there you go so basically after we feed the boiler if you can see we need to do now pipe work connect hot and cold water i've got a pipe here so i'm gonna cut it out and use some elbows compression fittings so got a few of them so basically cut the pipe the length you need it's a pipe cutter so you don't need a plumber you can do it yourself Overall, the boiler cost me 120 quid, so that's with um, fixings and uh, uh, pressure relief valve, which as you can see here, uh, comes with the boiler. This is if, if for the health, uh, for safety reasons, basically. How to fit the compressions fittings, so I'm gonna show you now. You put the ring. Put the pipe 
into the elbow or any other straight connector and just twist like that it's pretty simple so like I said you don't need a plumber to do that job you can do it yourself if you got the tools enjoy it doing DIY because you just do it yourself as you can see here I put the lime scale inhibitor because you don't want lime scale in your boiler so you want to give a decent shelf life this is in now we need don't forget to put this first and then o-ring later so we just put this thing in here oh yeah here you go it's a good one so I'm going to connect somehow like that I'm gonna use another pipe here extends so just tiny in this one as you can see Nothing difficult. All my plum plumbing I'm doing myself as well. Ah, here we go. So now this one left. Don't forget the tape. So measure it. Let's say that. Guys, 15 maybe, a long pipe, or maybe we can do 20, it's pretty quick. This is my cold water main supply. See blue color. So I'm gonna connect this one. Also took the hoses 50 centimeters in length, so you have extra length if you need. And also, also you see this bit, so you can close it, close the water wherever you need. properly of course I could have done it a bit different way chop it off here put a reducer in here run 15 mil pipe here and close it to that space bar it's taking ages to do everything so just wanna hot water to okay it. so I've cut another pipe so they are I'm not gonna show you how I did that because you've seen it before. I don't wanna call anyone and pay the money. I'm doing stuff when I can do it yourself. I can do some jobs 
but just with the wide and the last pipe. So basically, I bought two meters copper pipe. It cost me five and something, five fifty. That stuff costs twenty three quid. Ah. So basically, pipe and elbows to spend eleven quid and twenty three. So that's thirty three. So basically. 33 plus 120 for the boiler uh, this is I think three or four quid let's say four quid eight quid so 150 100, 160 quid all total thing roughly or let's say 170 cost me everything something else maybe buy a more expensive boiler or by the filter system just can filter your water last pipe and then we're gonna test it I decided to change this switch which is the using UK for the immersion heater just is basically the cable goes inside so it just on off that's it I don't like that I'm gonna put, as you see, I put already box, shallow box, socket box. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fit double socket, so you can plug in and unplug. Also plug in something else if you want. Okay, have something. I think it's more useful. Make sure electricity is disconnected so you don't get electrocuted. You see, I've got the special indicator screwdriver which shows. See, is is if the light is on, the electricity is on, so the light comes on. Oh, don't worry about that ugly or dirty wall. I'm gonna repaint that later on when I'm gonna have time. At the moment, I'm gonna put new socket the socket is done uh, because this is UK they're using free pin uh, plugs but this boiler came from Germany so it's got two pin plug so what we're gonna do I bought an adapter for UK socket from EU so we're gonna plug it in like that. Plug it like this. Obviously we're gonna have to, to do some things to oh here we go. No, I can't use a yeah, so basically leave it like that for the moment. I'm gonna insulate that pipe also like I insulated here. It protects from insulation, and to be honest, the job is done. And we're gonna test in a minute now. So, here we go. I open the mains, you can hear the right buttons running. I hope it's not gonna leak anywhere. I'm gonna have to wait and check. So, we're gonna have to wait until the boiler fills up. And then we're gonna turn it on and see how it goes. Now we're going to check. So basically here everything works. Here heating, everything is working. Nothing is leaking so far. Maybe a little bit here. All right, I'm gonna check that out. We have to tighten up. Now let's check the pressure the pressure was very low hot water so this is a hot water wow finally I've got pressure and this is called wicked nice so guys thanks for watching and please subscribe any questions please ask thank you bye